the fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're back. We're here in... No, not Athens, Greece. That is a Parthenon, but that's not the Parthenon, Greece. That's the Parthenon here in Nashville, Tennessee. And today we have for you our 10 things that shock tourists when they come here to Nashville. And yes, the replica of the Parthenon with, you know, Athena inside holding Nike is pretty shocking and cool. But that's not one of the 10 things I want to talk about. I might allude to it, but that's not the things that really get you in your tourists when you're here. Because I'll be honest with you, the first thing that shocks you when you come here, especially on the weekends, is the bachelor at party insanity on the weekends. You will see more pink boots and pink cowboy hats and people screaming and having a great time and celebrating marriages coming up with a bachelor party, bachelor at parties here. This is the place, and you will see them all over in big groups of 20, 30, 10, 5. Well, I many friends they have coming with them it's crazy so if you see them go and say hi get a drink get it something for the, the bachelorette that's getting married but the bride to be but it is hilarious just the shocky like wow the, the bridal kind of parties the bachelorette parties going around on the weekends here like you'll be shocked how crazy they can get so just be aware of that okay and, and that kind of leads into the second thing that's going to shock you when you're going around is when you see the party buses yes the buses that are driving around the downtown area you know on broadway and around there and you'll see like hey, that's a bus with people drinking and in, in, in a hot tub and and booze and all kinds of crazy stuff on there. Uh, yeah, they do that here. And, and here's a little hint. You can actually go rent one of those buses for you and your friends as well, if you want. But it is kind of funny the first time you see it, like, whoa, there's there's a party bus. And there's another party bus and there's another party bus. And they can be different themed ones, but um, just know you might be a little surprised when you do see them jamming away, cheering to you while you're walking as a tourist around seeing some of the sights. Now I realize not everyone is gonna take a party bus to enjoy music and craziness, right? Some people would just like to be on Broadway and enjoy it there. And I gotta tell you, one of the things that's gonna shock you is that the music plays all night long and during the day. That's the shocking part. Live music is a thing here in Nashville. That's why it's called Music City and you'll have live music all over. And no, it's not just on Broadway, throughout the city and throughout the area. If you're going to some of the suburbs and stuff, you'll get live music. But when you're on Broadway, the party goes all night long, like to 4 a.m. The music will be playing, like Annie B Band, you can go hear her play, you can see all kinds of great stuff. But if you're not a night owl, you know, a little bit older now, you're like, I wanna enjoy my music during the day. They've got live music during the day as well, so go Enjoy lunch with some great music when you're here and you'll be surprised like how much music you can get because it is really, really cool. Probably the best part of coming here. But if you're going to be having lunch here, I think another shock you need to realize is um, how the Nashville hot chicken burns. Because it doesn't burn like you think. A lot of people, when they come to Nashville, you should know is Nashville hot chicken is a very much a specialty of Nashville. It's this hot, like, rest of chicken or, or hot chicken. I mean, it just fantastic chicken, some white bread on there. Oh my God, it's just, it's, you have to have it. Whether you're Hattie B's or Prince's, I like the scoreboard actually by the Grand Ole Opry. There's tons of places that have it, but when you have one, you have to realize it's not hot and spicy the first bite or the second bite, but as you get going, the heat builds up. And by like, when there's like a third of the sandwich left or a fourth of the sandwich left, that's when you're like, ha, ha, ha. That's when you get the heat because it builds up. And that can be a little shocking for the tourists when they come here, okay? Oh, also I should tell you is don't be surprised if the best hot chicken places aren't on Broadway. Now there's a food court there that has, you know, Hattie B's by and there's a princess in there, but for the real deal, you gotta have to go out of Broadway, but you can get good hot chicken good out Nashville hot chicken everywhere, but just 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 be ready because the burn is a slow burn to get to here, but it's a fast burn when it comes out. Anyway, moving on to the next thing that kind of gets to us when they come here is how much country music there is, but also how much not country music there is. Because you think of it, you're like, yeah, Music City, right? So the Country Music Hall of Fame, the, the Ryman Auditorium, the Grand Ole Opry, it must just be country here. No, it's not. You have so many people that have moved here, and I'm gonna talk about that again later, but there's so many people that have come here and brought so many different types of music that you can really enjoy all kinds of music. It's not just country. I know it sounds crazy, but it's not just country music here. But I'll be honest, even if you're not a country music fan, going to the Country Music Hall of Fame is well worth it because it's done very, very well. I actually like it better than the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and I'm more of a rock and roll guy, but they've done a fantastic job there, so definitely check that out. And you know, one of the things that brought a lot of this music is you have to realize that Nashville has become a hub for a lot of young people and a lot of families actually moving to this area from all over the South, the Midwest, all over the country coming here. This place is booming. There's just so many more people. And the shots from that I'll talk about later, but 
the the whole scene that's coming here, whether you want to say the hipster movement, which is kind of all the millennials that came in, but there's just so much here that it's just really a hub of young people, which is really cool. So you have that really great vibe. So if you're going to be like in, in East uh, East Nashville, you go to the Five Points there. It's kind of a younger younger area to have some fun there, or or you can go to 12 South District. I mean, there's a lot of places you can go to kind of get that millennial vibe. So you stay away from the bachelorette parties. You stay away from you know the, the, the that kind of craziness there and the country music. You can have all kinds of stuff when you're here, but they have really had a big impact on the city and the areas around because when you're going around, you'll see this isn't an old city. There's a lot of young people that have moved here that have really, you know, with the restaurants and the bars and the clubs and the, the shopping and things, you will notice that influence here. And, and one of the things is all those people moving here made one of the things that wasn't really good about Nashville even more shockingly bad. And that is the traffic. I mean, the traffic, whether you're 24 or 65 or on the back roads or going to Franklin or you're going to wherever, I mean, Murfreesboro, I mean, the, 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 the traffic here just sucks. Okay, I want you to know that. Give yourself extra time. If you're in the, the downtown area, you know, it, it, there's a lot of one ways. It can be quite frustrating. And the potholes, oh my God. You'll be shocked how bad the potholes are. There's actually a program here. There's like a fund or the, the city has like a fund where for all the people getting their cars destroyed by the potholes that they're paying back to fix the car. So if your car gets destroyed by one of those potholes, do look it up. I just found out about this because my God, we are on 65. We're talking like this deep potholes on the line. So do be careful, but man, the traffic here totally sucks. So rush hour times, plan your dinner around that because if you're going to stay in one of the suburbs outside like we're staying in franklin and we're driving in and so we came in at three and we're going to stay here for the night because we're not i don't want to deal with the traffic going back at six or something like that so so just be prepared for it and another thing to be prepared for is um the allergy bull of hell that is nashville see what you don't realize is nashville is kind of like in this bowl and for some reason in this bowl all the pollen and allergy stuff kind of stays in there and you can't seem to get away from it if you're here in the spring so here's the thing you might not think you have allergies come here in the spring and you'll notice a sniffle or a sneeze or a cough it, it does happen i mean i was walking around earlier today and i'm like why am i why is my nose running like crazy what's going on here yeah the allergy stuff in the spring yeah bring your benadryl so you can really enjoy these things without watery eyes and, and noses going because yeah it, it can be a bowl of allergy hell here in the springtime. Now, another thing that shocks people they come to nashville is most people when they think of nashville they think of just the music but they're surprised by how much culture there is here as well. I mean, if you go to the Parthenon here, we're in Centennial Park and you go to the Parthenon and inside, like I said, they have, you know, Athena's there and it's huge. It's really cool to see, but this is the capital of Tennessee. So you have state museums you can go to. Back behind there, you got Vanderbilt University. You can go check out the campus there. Going to see the homes around the area. There's just beautiful neighborhoods too. But the thing is, there's museums, there's culture, there's all kinds of other stuff. The Hermitage, you can go out to Andrew Jackson's home. You can take a tour there and do that. So there's a lot of stuff you can take in. The Grand Ole Opry, the Ryman Auditorium. I know that's music based, but that's a culture thing too. And the Country Music Hall of Fame, but there's so much culture, so much, so many things. It's not just, you know, drinking a bushwhacker on Broadway way with the music that sometimes people forget that so you can have a great time in Nashville this might be a surprise a shot you can have a great time in Nashville without even visiting Broadway okay so so just have a heads up for that though I do recommend going because it is fun and the thing is the, the the culture stuff is not just you know historic stuff in museums there's also great green spaces all around the area so you want to do hiking or canoeing biking there's a lot of fun stuff to do okay uh, so definitely 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 don't just be stuck in town when you're here and then the 10th thing I think I really need to talk about and things that'll shock you about Nashville especially if you used to come here 10 20 years ago is just how much this huge influx of people into Nashville has really changed the vibe of the city the feel of the city the price of the city it's made it tougher in a lot of ways because housing the prices have gone up astronomically you know the the driving and the traffic has gone up astronomically the friendliness has dropped astronomically i mean don't get me wrong nashville is still a fun place and it's still the people are friendly but with all these people coming in when you have all these new incoming people and all the tourists that come here it puts you know people get smushed together and they uh, lash out i mean 
there's sometimes stuff going on on Broadway at night you might want to be careful of, right? But, but just realize with this influx of people that traditional Nashville you knew of 10 or 20 years ago has not completely changed, but it definitely has a different vibe than it used to. So that's why I recommend people coming back because I was here last year, I was here five years ago filming as well. And I've seen the difference even in a couple years, how things have changed. And you'll see that here. And if you get a driver or you meet someone that's from here originally, they'll let you know some of the differences are here. Okay. So just be aware of that. I mean, I'm sure some of the locals you're on here, put down some of the things you've noticed that's changed aside from the insane housing prices and just prices in general going up and the traffic getting crazy. Um, but I just think that's something important to know because people are shocked because it used to be in such a friendly, great city and it still is a great city. It still is friendly, but you'll be shocked how it's not as friendly as it was just because there's so many people that have come here. So I just think people would want to know that. That's why it's important to book your hotels ahead of time, Airbnbs and VRBOs or rentals. You want to book those ahead of time too, especially on the weekend. And especially if you're going to be staying in some of the suburbs you want to go to, like Franklin, there's not a lot of hotels. It's just Verbos. And you have to think about that. But I just want to give you an idea of some of the things that might shock you when you come to Nashville. It's a fun time. I've come back, like I said, again and again and again. And as you can see, they're all having a great time here as well. So I wish you all the best. I'll say thank you for watching. All of our members on YouTube and painters on Patreon, big thumbs up for thanking you. I'm thanking you to help for helping us make these honest fun travel videos. And I'll say bye from here in Nashville.